sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here, and today in this video we do have another latest additions video and I still didn't get a mic yet uh, I know I'm slacking a little bit on that still looking around for one for one there's still a lot of stuff I need to buy like some new LED lights you can see only these ones work and then I have like the colored ones so it doesn't really match with the white LED lights and then these ones are just the the colored ones I like the the white ones because it lights the shelves up much better compared to like green or blue or something like that but yeah I need to get those <laughs> and I need to get a new mic as well so I will uh, be getting a new mic soon. Sorry for crappy audio for these type of videos for now, but but I, I will have a new mic soon. So I did get a, a few things in the mail. I know it's not all spawn stuff again, <laughs> so it's a, it's a mixture of stuff. So I did get a graphic novel and a couple Blu-rays. So for the graphic novel, I did get uh, the Spawn Origins Collection Volume 3. I did order Volume 2. I still haven't gotten that in the mail yet, but uh, once I get that, I'm going to start reading these. So once I finish one, I read the next one, and then eventually get four, five, six, and so on. So I did get that. Then the Blu-rays here, I did get Bad Boys 3, Bad Boys for Life, which is a pretty damn good movie. A bit different compared to the other two, but it's 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 a good movie. I, I've been enjoying it so much, and it's it is funny as well. I think it got more funny from the middle towards the end. That's when it got kind of more funny for me. But I did get that, and then I did, of course, have to get It Man Four. I love the It Man trilogy, and the fourth movie here, I am dying to see. Had to buy this when I saw it up there with Bad Boys Three. So still haven't watched this, but plan on watching it probably this weekend or something like that. So that's that stuff. And then my fiance did finish uh, some capes. If you do have pending orders and you're waiting for them to ship, they will be shipping uh, most likely on Friday because I'm off work Friday now, so it's much easier for me to hit up the post office since I'm off work then. So if you're waiting for an order to ship out, it will be shipping on Friday. If you do want to purchase something that I'm about to show you, you can contact us. My information is in the description below if you would like to get any capes. So we of course did get more Batman capes. So we do have the Batwing style here and then we do have the, the tattered Affleck style and you can also use those for the Berserker armor Figma guts as well, the tattered Batman capes. So we have those, the Batman capes, you could use it for uh, guts as well. And the Doctor Doom capes is really being a pain in the ass for us because we really can't shop in certain stores for fabrics, so we're, we're buying fabric online hoping that the green matches and it's been a pain in the ass trying to get it. My fiance is getting very frustrated trying to get these damn Doom capes right and she did get s s the color right on some of them recently so we're happy about that but uh, we got to try to to get get the color uh, correct with this new fabric we got because it's once again a little off which is really becoming a pain in the ass but uh, we also did get more Mandalorian capes in case you want to get a awesome wired cloth cape for your Black Series Mandalorian and then she also did make some spawn bandanas for commando spawn and turned out really dope man I, I dig the way these look and the spawn capes are probably gonna start getting worked on this weekend but uh these are for sale the mandalorian capes the batman capes the the berserker armored guts cape and the doctor doom capes not entirely sure yet because like i said we're, we're trying to figure out the damn color to get the damn color right and it's, it's just really driving us crazy so we have all those capes if you, you are interested feel free to contact us my information is in the description below now for the figures here I did get a diorama from a, 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 a cool dude a, a buddy of mine on Instagram called daddy's song I believe his name is and he just sent me this free of charge this is a, a hobby he does and he wanted to send me a little diorama nothing too crazy but it it's pretty dope man so he did this is the back of it right there so his son did throw in a little bike that he plays with, and it's actually a pretty cool bike, man, and it fits in pretty well with this dial here. Whoops. Some of that stuff got stuck on the bike. 
but this guy does a pretty damn good job. Like I said, this is the back of it here. Does some nice, uh, nice work, man. I really do dig this. You can see it's supposed to be a bunch of barrels to uh, cover from gunfire. You could throw this gun in over here, or you could put it on this side. He has two holes, so you could put either on either side. Then he included a sniper rifle as well, along with this machine gun. So pretty cool that he included like weapons as uh, accessories, man. And then he did uh, make some barbed wire, and you could wrap it wherever the hell you want. I did take a couple pictures with my commando spawn, and it look, looks dope, man. It does a pretty damn good job. So thank you, uh, Daddy Song on Instagram, for hooking me up with this diorama. This thing is is dope, man. I really do like it. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. So I did get that. Now for the figures, I did get a few spawn ones, of course. So I did get the the Mandarin spawn, which is visually, it's an absolutely stunning looking figure but of course you know how McFarlane was back then it's not crazy articulation he has some decent accessories though but my god this thing is so damn cool looking what a, what a great looking display piece so I did get that I also got Spawn the Blackheart which is also a pretty damn cool figure man it doesn't have bad articulation at all for a 90s a late 90s figure but the detail on this is dope. I like how it's a four-armed character as well. You can see his chainmail all over there. I'm going to be reviewing this one along with the Mandarin spawn, which I will eventually get to. So I did get that. And then the last spawn figure I got is the Raider, the Centaur dude, which is also a pretty dope figure, man. Any type of character that's like a centaur is, is dope, you know what I mean? It doesn't have crazy articulation. He has a big ball joint here, a swivel there, a swivel at the shoulders, uh, at the head, at the elbows, and then the back legs on uh, the, the horse body do swivel as well. The front legs don't, though. But this is it, it, pretty damn cool. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. So that's all the spawn stuff I got. And then for the two new figures I got, these things I'm, I'm super pumped for, man. So this is going to be my next review. It should be up tomorrow. I think I'm going to have it up tomorrow on Thursday. And that is the SH Figure Arts Ultra Instinct Goku. And awesome figure, man. It, it, when it comes to a Goku figure, Tamashii Nations really never lets us down besides just giving us the same... Uh, accessories over and over again, just alternate faces and hands. At least this one he is included with the gathering up energy Kamehameha effect, which we have seen before, but this is such a cool figure, man. They did an, uh, an awesome job with this, and while I was taking pictures of it uh, for the review, I was playing the Ultra Instinct Goku theme song. I, I, that song is so epic, it's just, I, I had to play it while I was uh, taking pictures of the figure, man. What a dope figure. This is definitely my favorite Goku figure now. And it will most likely make my top 10 favorite figures of 2020 list. And then the last thing I got here, which I am also extremely pumped for, is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series variant all black version. Snake Eyes. And I think I dig this costume a little bit more. It's the same costume, it's just a simple repaint, which a lot of people were thinking. That's what the other mystery figure was in Wave 1. And there's two snake eyes in a case. So there's going to be more of those around compared to Duke, Destro, Roadblock, and Scarlet. I do need to get Destro as well. And I'll probably, I mean, I'll probably end up getting all of them. I don't know. I might just get uh, Destro and Roadblock. But the snake eyes definitely looks dope. His guns are a bit lame. They're kind of like those futuristic guns, like what we see with Duke and... The other characters so that is a bit corny but i mean you still get his badass sword the same knife the backpack and i'm sure he has the alternate hands as well but the all black version does look dope and this is going to be my next review after the ultra instinct goku so really glad i got these two new figures finally some new figures to review but anyway that is my works quick latest Editions video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, like it, share it, like it. But thanks for watching. We'll see you later. <laughs> Action figures. Action figures. Yeah.
have to go on this side, but I went over here. Damn camera! <laughs>